Hello, folks. I'm Mike Bunt of the Going Deep Podcast, part of the Cover One Network, and I'm here to review the Buffalo Bills 2022 NFL Draft. They started with pick 23, drafting Kair Irlam, cornerback from Florida. The Bills had to move up two spots to get this pick, giving up their fourth round pick to the Baltimore Ravens. Kair Elam is one of the top cornerbacks in this class. His 2020 tape, as good as anyone in college football, was a little bit iffy last year, had a little bit, uh, fell back a little bit, but still a tremendous talent. The one issue with him was a little bit of his physicality with tackling, but that's something that uh, the Bills are confident that they can overcome. In round two, Buffalo traded back two times, eventually taking James Cook out of Georgia, the brother of Vikings running back, Dalvin Cook. James Cook, a very talented pass catcher out of the backfield. He will help tremendously in that aspect, an area that the Bills tried to improve earlier in the offseason when they had signed J.D. McKissick before he eventually decided to go back to Washington. In the third round, a bit of a surprise with Buffalo taking Terrell Bernard, out of Baylor, a linebacker with good cover instincts and also had seven and a half sacks last year, but many experts consider this one a reach, uh, a position where the Bills probably not getting the best value for the pick, but are getting a solid player. In round five, the Bills take Khalil Shakir out of Boise State, a very talented wide receiver. We talked about in round three where they might have not have gotten the value. In round five, tremendous value for Shakir. A lot of people thought he could have been a day two pick, potentially in play in the third round. This is a guy that can do it all, has tremendous speed, can do some gadget things. Definitely a guy to look out for in the future in Buffalo. Round six, the Bills take punt god Matt Areza out of San Diego State. A lot of hype surrounding this guy all offseason, uh, averaging over 50 yards per punt at San Diego State, but only the third punter taken off the board. So a little bit later than what many uh, draft gurus might have expected heading into the NFL draft. He should be he should definitely win the Bills punting competition this offseason with Matt Hawk. Round six, a little bit of an unknown player. The Bills take Christian Benford out of Villanova with pick 185. Later in round six at 209, the Bills take Luke Tenuta out of Virginia Tech, most likely going to start out at tackle. And then to round things up in round seven at 231, the Bills take another linebacker, Balin Spector out of Clemson. Overall, I give this draft a solid B for Buffalo. They wanted to get a number two corner. They needed a pass catching number two type running back, and they needed linebacker depth and potentially a fourth wide receiver. They accomplished those goals. Hard to be disappointed if you're a Bills fan going forward.